And the easiest way to review the information if you're using a easy tune system is to video using a GoPro. And then you'd be looking on the same part of the track for the same light sequence. As you can see there on the left, we've got the Lambda and the AFR. So now that we've been out on track and collected all our data, it's time to download it to the PC and then we can review all that information using Micron's awesome software. Hey guys, today's video is a data analysis comparison and we're using the EasyTune Lambda Sensor Kit versus the Micron LCU1 Kit. So following on from last week's video where we showed you how to mount the two different systems to the go-car, well this week we're going to show you how to review the information. And the easiest way to review the information if you're using a EasyTune system is to video using a GoPro. So here's a classic example of us using the EasyTune system on track. So if you record the session, you can review the data when you come back in and you can see the lights are flashing here on the easy tune and the engine is a little bit too lean through the mid-range. I made the adjustment on the fly, but you'd make the adjustment in the pits. And then you'd be looking on the same part of the track for the same light sequence. And now you can see the engine is running perfectly good in the, in the green zone. If anything, it's a little bit rich at the top of the straight. Now, with the LCU1 kit, we've got that all, all the hardware set up on the go-kart, so now you've got to turn on a few settings on the dash so that you can at least see the data while you're driving and then review it later on when you get back to the pits. So we're gonna go through the menu on the Micron 5 here. Just The buttons are labeled on the screen and they're multi-function, but if we go over to the spanner, then we can press the next, next, next and go to display setup and then I like to turn these off. You can toggle them on the home screen, but I just switch them to the no position for the first two. And then go to the first custom setting and then press the configure. And then you can select from this list, Lambda AFR or lambda value, depending on which way you want to go. So go to the next one, set that at lambda AFR, so that's air fuel ratio versus lambda value. Select what other options you want and then go back to the home screen. And as you can see there on the left, we've got the lambda and the AFR. So now that we've been out on track and collected all our data, it's time to download it to the PC and then we can review all that information using Micron's awesome software. So super important, go to the track with all your Lambda gear all set up on your car, download the data from your Micron to your computer. Now we've covered that using the Race Studio 3 software on your PC. You'll be able to find that video in our library, but for now we're gonna highlight one of our sessions and open it up. And then what we can do is we can see over here we've got our Lambda value and Lambda AFR selected. Also too, it's good to have GPS speed and RPM selected. If you go over to your, your measures graphs, you can select it with the mouse and then press the space bar to get rid of that little menu off the side, just to neaten up the screen. And then what we're gonna do is go up to the top right corner, click on the little map icon. We've already got a map made and we do have a video on how to do that as well. And when we're doing go-kart engine analysis, Using the Lambda is really critical to the power of the engine. And the secret to tuning maximum performance is to check your Lambdas on the straights on your local track. Now our track has three little straightaways. So we're gonna click on it with the engine RPM and speed increasing and the Lambda holding pretty steady. And the best way to do that, say off your hairpin corners, and we go over here and we the engine's accelerating because you can see that on our speed trace. Our lambda is sitting nicely at 99 on lambda, lambda scale, which is 14.36 in the AFR. And you can see that here over on the right in the numerical scale. Otherwise, you've got the squiggly lines. And they have over on the left-hand side the scale that they're, or the range. So 12.5 AF is rich, all the way up to 16, which is lean or in the lambda scale of 0 0.80, all the way up to 1.15, 1.15 being lean, and 80, or 0.80, being 
being very, very rich. We want to see it around for the magic on the straights, which is the easiest to measure, between 0 0.93 and 1.00. Now here at the top of the straight, we can see we're still holding a lambda of 98, even though the squiggly line is starting to move down. And then it changes when we shut the throttle and start applying the brakes. And then we can check it out again here. We've got a 1.00 or a 14.54 AFR. If we go to the top of the straight again, we can see this engine's in pretty good tune because we're at 97 and 14.14. So what you're trying to aim for is this uh, magic lambda of 93 to 97. You can run them as lean as 1.0, 1.05 if you like, but uh, this is the numbers that we aim for on our tracks. Now, if you did want an alternative to the squiggly line method, uh, you can go up here to your GPS mode and press the space bar again. Now, we can get rid of that little track map because we've got our track map again here in GPS mode. And we go over to our little measures and laps chart. We can unselect lap per color and then click on this little colored tile and it brings up this menu here. Now, you want to make sure you are in the bands mode instead of smooth mode and then you go down to your lambda value or lambda AFR depending on which one you're going to use and you can see here you've got the default colors and the range that you're going to see. You can modify those if you wanted to and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply and exit and now we've got a visual like a colored representation of the tuning all the way around the track. Green being good, red being slightly lean and blue being the slightly rich zones, which is when we've been on the down throttle. When we get back on the throttle here in acceleration zone on our local track, you can see it's a little bit red. So that can be either the cart's a little bit too gripped up and there's a little bit too much load on the engine or the spark plug even. You can check your spark plugs, maybe it's a little bit too hot and the engine's running a little hot off the corners and it's not quite what we call freed up. And that can actually add a little bit of too much load to the engine and make it run a fractionally lean. But this one here overall is pretty excellent. Now if you did have a Tilson style carburetor and it was rich at the main straight, you're seeing some blue areas here or here indicating that the engine was running a little bit too rich, well then we could lean off the high speed jet. Consequently if we see this little red section here, we could richen up the low speed needle on our Tilson style carburetor and that would get rid of that lean condition off the corner. Either or is an excellent way to check your tuning, whether you use the measures graph or the GPS data, both are acceptable and both are an excellent way to get maximum performance out of your two stroke racing engine. So as you can see from all this information, both the systems work exceptionally well. One's cheap and easy to use, one's a little bit more expensive and a little bit more complicated, but you do get some more features but both get the job done. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 20K before Christmas. Thanks to all the YouTube members and Patreons for that little bit extra. And if you haven't had enough of us, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Power Republic. So go check us out. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.